Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah and in today's video, I'm going to talk about vibe hacking. Now, if you've been on social media, Twitter, Reddit or anything in the last couple of weeks, you might have heard about the vibe coding trend. And it is basically where developers just let AI suggest the code for them and they are curating the vibe of the product. Um, it's more of a chill, relaxed kind of way of coding where developers don't really do any of the real coding part. They're just fixing bugs and they just write code in a more experimental way where you're just in the mindset of let's see what happens. And then I thought why not apply this same concept to hacking and do some vibe hacking. So if you're a bug bounty hunter who's hunting on something open source or if you're a pen tester where you have access to the code and you want to do some code reviews, I hope this video helps you because we're going to be vibe hacking on some code and finding vulnerabilities in it. The reason I'm doing this is because some time ago I put up a video on my journey learning code reviews and all of you really like that video and I kind of want to continue making videos about the same topic. I also recently started using this application and if you've been following me on Instagram, you've all already seen this. I'm using this website called codereviewlab.com where they post daily challenges. Uh, for example, they'll post a challenge about a food delivery app. They'll give you a couple of files, lines of code, and you have to find like an XSS bug in there. And I've been doing really well. I'm also number two on leaderboard so far. So it's going well. I even got the premium subscription for that website for like, I think seven pounds a month, which is like 700 rupees a month. I'm definitely learning a lot about code reviews from there because it's very practical and with code reviews the more practice you have the better you get back to this video in this video we're going to be exploring vibe hacking so what i did is i got to github and i downloaded the code for a wordpress plugin and now i'm going to take that plugin into vs code and use ai to try to find bugs so let's go Okay, so I have my laptop right here and we're just going to start off by going into VS Code and opening the folder of the plugin that I have. As you can see, it's imported everything and I'm using this AI extension. It's called Augment. It's just finishing indexing the code base. So I'm just going to ask it, what does this WordPress plugin do? And it says that based on it, it, based on the provided files, Kubio is a WordPress AI powered plugin. It helps build websites. So you get, so it creates AI generated images. It has a couple of core features. I already know what it does, uh, but you can read up more about it if you want. Let's ask it if there are any raw, which means non-parameterized SQL queries there. So I'm trying to get into seeing if there are any SQL injection vulnerabilities in here and it says that there aren't any direct raw sql queries but it did find one file so let's see what that file is doing all right so i see some prepared statements here and okay there's nothing else but there's prepared statements and then it is using it in a raw query but because there are prepared statements, I don't think this is going to work for SQL injection. And there's nothing else in the file that really looks too vulnerable. So let's try for maybe XSS. I'm going to start a new chat and ask if we are taking user input anywhere and displaying it. It says that there are several instances where we are doing it, but they are being properly escaped. Uh, I do see some escape HTML and JSON in code here. So maybe this is not going to work. Let's start a new chat and ask it another question. Are there any URL parameters used? All right, so it gave us a couple of files here. It is telling us what the URL parameters are taking. And okay, but we just want to find the ones where it's maybe displaying it in an unsanitized way. So let's ask it if any of this is displaying it unsanitized. Uh, 
all right so it gave us still a couple of files oh it tells us this one is vulnerable to xss as well because it's taking it into inner html okay let's see what's happening here ah i immediately see this get parameter message and the message uh, parameter is being taken into inner html okay so let's copy the path of this file i'm going to take it into my chrome over here uh, let's inspect element to see what's going on here i'm going to start by adding the message parameter and just putting a basic text for now you can see the text is showing up on the website and it's also in the code let's try with a script alert just a basic xss payload over here script alert one okay i i do see it is in the html but there's nothing happening on the website uh okay let's ask the ai what's going on over here uh, let's see if we, we can do it with an h1 tag uh h1 hello ah okay so the h1 tag works as well maybe just because it's in the body it's not executing the script tag uh let's ask the ai what's going on if i add a script tag is it gonna execute okay it says that yes it will but it didn't work for us but it says that a malicious payload could also use event handlers uh let's try with the event handler so we have image src on error it should throw an alert all right okay looks like this worked we have a dom xss right here that we found with vibe coding all right so we just found a dom xss bug with vibe hacking using augment i'm actually really liking this augment extension i feel like it works even better than the copilot which comes inbuilt with vs code uh, i've been using it also for vibe coding and not just vibe hacking because it is very intuitive and it gives you the code that you ask it for uh, much better than copilot does all right guys so that was it for this video i found a dom xss bug on this wordpress plugin using vibe hacking um, if you want more videos about using AI for hacking, let me know in the comments. And this was super fun for me to make, so I'm really happy to make more of these. But yeah, that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!